Over the past few months, there has been something new in the skies of Cairo. When viewed with the right frame of mind, it's a thing of beauty and wonder. A reminder of the many and varied lives and stories that inhabit this city. But as with so much in Cairo, there's also a certain degree of chaos, which is, of course, part of the charm of this place. During the coronavirus shutdown, young men were unable to hang out in the ahwas and shisha bars, so looking for other cheap entertainment, they revived the old tradition of kite flying. Seeking cheap, wholesome family entertainment ourselves, we set about making our own Arab-style kite. Well, I took apart the um, bread tray that I made, and we used the uh, palm from that to make some kites, me and the kids, and uh, they were quite small, and Apparently palm is too heavy, so it was an absolute disaster. Um, this one nearly flew, but not quite. Bamboo is the thing. So I've gone and got some bamboo, and I've got all my stuff here, my knives and uh, saw and uh, bin liners for the sale. And also the other thing is they're very small, and the bigger you make it, obviously the more sail area. It doesn't get much heavier, but you get a, le a lot more area, so it flies better. So. Let's go. I was put in touch with a guy who said he could show me the best places to fly. I was a little early to our meeting and so I finished my kite at the side of the road as I waited. Uh, so, so far it's not going quite as planned. Uh, every person we ask in the street, where can we go fly the kite? Where are the people flying kites? They've looked at my kite and said it's rubbish and it's all wrong. So these guys behind us here, you can see the sticks. Um, basically they've taken my kite completely apart. The one I've just finished making, pulled all the string off um, and, and they're insisting on making it correctly. We might not get to fly it today. Um, very well meaning. I mean, I didn't really care if it flew or not. I just wanted uh, to see some kites in the air and see some Cairo kite action. In order to find enough wind between the buildings, people often fly in the middle of the wide streets. But that can bring its own problems. Notice here the kite, the guy holding the string, and this motorbike. What amazes me is how this almost strangulation incident results in a, oh, never mind, malish. Like getting string around your neck is, you know, just one of those things one should expect in life. I was a bit surprised at the danger some of the kites created, such as these guys flying right next to the overhead high voltage cables of the railway. We called it a day and to be honest I left this video for a few weeks. In returning home after filming a robotic car park, yes you heard that right, video coming soon, I noticed the sky full of kites. Oh wow 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 wow. The scale of it was simply breathtaking. I pulled over to film, but I realised I had to cross over the Autostrad, one of Cairo's busiest roads. So, here goes. It takes real skill to video a starry sky, a sunset, or kites, it would seem. Skill that I clearly don't have. Trust me, there are dozens of kites here. In person, this view was amazing. Seeing so many kites flying above the domes and minarets. Sadly, I'm just not able to do it justice on film. Oh, These guys have just let me have a go on their kite. Uh, I think it's like uh, the one with the red tail. Yeah. It's... So they just let me have a go. The pull on the string is really, really strong. I wandered deep into Al Abagaya among the graves. Each turn brought me to more people enjoying the kites of Cairo. If 
you've read The Kite Runner, you'll be familiar with the idea of combat flying. But there's none of that here. It's simply for pleasure. These lads got tangled up a bit, but some shouting and untwisting soon saw them separated again. As for my kite, yes, it did fly, even with its manufacturing defects. Although I took the precaution of taking the family away from the city. I'll leave you with a sunset view of the kites of Cairo. Until next time, Shukran, Masalama, Robin and Mikey.